In the maritime domain, the platforms such as aircrafts and helicopters plays a vital role which includes maritime surveillance, anti-submarine warfare, maritime domain awareness, electronic intelligence, communication intelligence, pollution surveillance and search and rescue missions. The Indian Navy operates two latest platforms for such roles which includes PHI and MH60R helicopters. The Navy also operates 14 Russian-made Kamovka 31 helicopters. The Indian Navy also operates significant number of Donier Do-228 aircrafts which are integrated with Israel's Elta ALM-2022 Airborne Maritime Surveillance Radar, also with glass cockpit advanced surveillance equipment such as electronic intelligence sensors and networking features used for electronic warfare missions, maritime surveillance, search and rescue and providing target data to weapons platform. So now DRDO is planning to develop its own maritime platform similar to PHI aircraft which will be integrated with indigenous sensors. Under this program, six maritime multi-mission aircraft or triple MA is planned for Indian Coast Guard and nine medium range maritime reconnaissance aircraft that is MRMR is planned for Indian Navy. The platform chosen for these maritime aircrafts will be C-295 which will be made in India from 2026 onwards by Tata Group. Now let's talk about which sensors. Now let's talk about the sensors which will be integrated into these maritime aircrafts. The first and foremost component is going to be a maritime patrol radar. For example, the Indian Navy PTI's aircraft features state-of-art Raytheon APY-10 maritime surveillance radar. This radar provides data in all weather conditions, be it night or day, for anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare as well as for ISR operations. This radar can provide high-resolution images in both over-the-land and water modes. The Raytheon engineers have also added an air-to-air -air mode for Indian Navy which will provide these radars the airborne target detection and tracking which will enable the detection of threats in air and at sea. Other available modes for this radar includes color weather, synthetic aperture radar, inverse synthetic aperture radar, periscope detection and navigation. The ISR mode is said to be capable of detecting, imaging and classifying surface targets at long range using a variety of resolutions. So this would have given you an idea how important is the maritime radar and what complexity is involved in its operations. Now the DRDO's lab LRD has undertaken the responsibility of developing such maritime patrol radar for upcoming indigenous maritime platforms. The DRDO's maritime patrol radar features sea clutter suppression to detect small targets. In addition to standard air to surface search modes with track while scan, this radar provides high resolution range signature and ISR image of the target which enables the user to classify the intercepted target. There is also an air to air mode to detect and tar track the aerial targets. This radar has additional weather and beacon modes. It provides 360 degree azimuth coverage either in belly mounted or in chin mounted configuration. A private firm in collaboration with DRDO called Data Pattern has built this radar and is being called as Chitij. So Chitij is an X-band AAC radar and is planned to be integrated with Indian Navy aircraft and helicopters such as LH Mark III, Donier Do 228 and C-295 in future. The work on testing of this radar has also commenced. In March 2023, DRDO's lab LRD has commenced the integration process for Chitij um, along with ESM, EOIR and software defined radio on the Donier Do 228 aircraft. HL is performing the installation of these sensors and payloads on the aircraft and is also responsible for trials and certification of the platform. The Donier aircraft which has been chosen for the integration of this sensors has a tail number KD707. 
Interestingly, in March 2024 as well, it was reported that DRDO's lab LRD in HAL has commenced the process of integration of high SAR on Dhoni aircraft. High SAR is again an X-Planner DAR which will be used for ISR mission. It is an all-weather day and night microwaving imaging system. The Dhoni aircraft which has an identified for integration is again the same with tail number KD707. This radar is interestingly manufactured by another private firm called Jisnu. So what is not clear is how this radar is going to be different from Chitij. This radar, which is HISAR, is also intended to replace Israel's ELM-202, which is used on Indian Navy's Tony aircraft. And in future, it will be integrated with airborne platforms such as Donier LH Mark III helicopters and upcoming UAVs of TRDO such as Archer NG. So the overall progress being made by TRDO in development of maritime petrol radar in collaboration with private firms such as Tita Patterns and Jisnu is very significant. The program has reached into integration stage where HL will be testing these radars on Dhoni aircraft. And once the trials are complete, it will replace the Israel's ELM-202 on Donia platform. It will also pave the way for integration of these radars into C-295 aircrafts for MRMR and MMA platforms. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.